Jerry here, and I know what you're thinking. What the hails is he up to today? Well, if you remember the $500 unit filled with treasures, I mean, it's just overflowing with treasures. George and I got it in the trailer. Now we got to get it out of the trailer and we got to give you a second unboxing video. We don't even know everything that's in there. And I have a feeling there's going to be a ton of glassware, a ton of antique books, and a ton of other things hidden around every corner because this thing just seems to be the gift that just keeps on giving, which is pretty appropriate since yesterday was Christmas. There is a tremendous amount to go through in this unit. And honestly, in the first unboxing video with the totes in the back, that was, that was going quick. It was freezing cold, and we've got all of this to go through. So what do you say we grab that shoe box? We'll grab some totes and some boxes, and we'll see how far we can get today. Let's see what we got in box number one. We got some books. We got the original Ben Hur. We've got fundamentals of the full gospel embroidery stitches 100 of them no big surprise there oh look at this this has hills on it do you guys remember hills the old department store there's a free small pretzel yeah except it expired in 98 we've got whoa that's grandma and she's probably the one that was doing all the embroidery look at this <laughs> yes we got gift cards. We can never go wrong with gift cards. There's 50 bucks in gift cards. We'll set that aside and check that out. Uh, we've got some kind of certificate of authenticity, the Easter angel. Looks like we got a couple of them. I'm not sure what these are. Maybe some of you guys know what those actually are. We've got, looks like we've got a stamp collection. We've got more stamps. I see Kenya here. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, just ripped off, kept stamps, never have enough of that, right? Chicken soup with rice. Mother is a word called love. Oh, look at this. Okay, we've got some old school pictures and photos. Look at this. Wow. Now, remember, when you buy a storage unit, absolutely everything in that storage unit is yours. Wow, military. Uh, one of the, oh, look at this one. One of the things with these old photos, these old black and whites, these are extremely collectible on, on eBay. And so somebody would buy a lot of these. Now, that's up to you. Wow, look at that old car. That's up to you whether you want to try and return them to the family, which 99.9% .9 of the time, if you give them to the business, the family will never come back to retrieve them because they're gone. They abandoned it on for a reason. But if you wanted to resale, that would be up to you as well. You own it. You get to decide what you want to do with it. You can do whatever you want with the information I give you. That's cool stuff. Look at this. Look at this money. Look, we've got some money here. This one's missing, oh, we're missing a quarter. Probably right here. So, I'm not sure what this is. Do you guys, can you guys recognize this money? Maybe this fits along with the military. National Bank of Cambodia, 2004, right there. This looks like Cambodian money. Not that I've ever seen Cambodian money, but if it's listed as that, it must be that. We've got some American flag stickers. You got an Omar Vizquel. Mariner's card right there. Another card, a thermal setting Esther Long Life covering plate. Let's see what this is. Not sure what that is. By Acme Safety Products. Have no idea what that is. Country stamps. Got some, looks like postcards. That one looks military. Yep. There we go. Battleship Commission. Old postcards are collectible as well. So if you can find postcards, there's a whole group of people that does nothing but collect postcards. We've got uh, just some paperwork here. We've got some old three, uh, 3D thingies. That looks like Boy Scouts. Postcard, postcard. 
We got we got some cards. And we got a couple more stamps down here. We got the king. And we got I don't know who. This box says Graham's dresser top. Tape is loose, but it's still on. So let's kind of loosen it up. And if it's Graham, there's a good chance there'll be some collectibles. Let's see what we got here. We'll try and move fast because there's so much. Here's a fun time bear. I've never seen one of these before. Uh, we've got some books. I'll go through the books off to the side. Okay. We're going to set those off. Oh, look at this. It's an old granny. I mean, we're going to find all kinds of sewing, needlework. I don't doubt that at all, especially with this unit. Look at this. We got celestial seasoning zinger teas. Looks like we've got, we've got some jewelry in there for sure. Probably gold. I'll look at that off camera. Got a wig for a little patch. And this is just hair care products. You know, vapor rub, things like that. We've got some things wrapped here. Let's see what this is. There we go. There's a figure of Jesus. No doubt a very religious family, just based on some of the books we've already seen. There's a beanie. Yep, that's no, it's not a beanie. That's a Russ. That's probably, my guess would be that the jewel is birthstone. Let's see what we have here. There's a, a shell, maybe from a trip. Beautiful shell. There's Love Never Fails, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter in the Bible. Let's see what we have here. Look at this. It's a beautiful vase, lamp. There's marking down there. I see eight, seven. Looks cool, whatever it is. Look, oh wow, look at this. This looks like an old powder. Old powder, um, I don't even know what you call it. Yeah, it's definitely, it's the powder. So that's the old powder for the ladies. What do we have here? We've got a strawberry, is it a candle? bath jelly huh oh we got a container that broke let's see there's all kinds of oddities down here there's a precious expressions here's a soul let's open up yeah, just a couple more of these pieces of pieces that are wrapped and there's an angel and then what I'll do is I'll go through the box more fine-tunedly and and if there's anything of value I'll show that to you nice this box the tape is already untaped or broken we've got Old ball mason jar. Got a little bit of a blue tint to it. I'm colorblind, I think it does. Look at that. Got the porcelain top as well. I just think everything in this unit is gonna end up being collectible. We've got an atlas over here and ball. Look at this. This belongs to Charlie from the old house in the hollow. There's an actual note inside. So this is from the old house in the hollow. Porcelain again. So whoever Charlie is, this came from the old house in the hollow. Wow, look at that vase. No markings. And there's something inside there, too. There's another note. Okay, let's set that aside. Because look at this. Oh, wow. Another little wizard. We just found a little wizard. So, little wizard. Wow. 
Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we're gonna set that aside. We got one more to look at here. Here we go, right there. And then this, this one goes on with the pressure. That one's got a nice green tint to it. Isn't that beautiful? This one says old glass, right here and right here, but we're taped. You think I would have had a knife. George! Wait, George isn't here. I'll be right back. One moment. <laughs> Got it. Here we go. Knifing this thing open. All right, old glass. Let's see what we have here. You better be pretty careful. I know some of you love this old glass. I have a feeling it's all going to be antique. Uh oh, my knife didn't go through here. There we go. Okay, here we go. Well, we definitely have some. We got some paper. Maybe a fruit ball, candy dish. I don't know. There's another one. I would assume most of this is old. She passed away. Let's see what we have here. Or maybe all of this is part of a set. No markings down below. This is the top to something. Here we go, we got a topper. One of them. Maybe this is an entire set, and I think that is the top to this right here. Looks like had some some kind of candy, something in there. I don't know. Let's see what else we have here. This feels like another top. There we go. No, that's a candle holder. It says made in the USA. Okay, let's see. I'm sitting in this big one. Wow, that's pretty ornate. Looks like there's an eight, or is that a B down here? I'm not sure how that identifies it. But, pretty, pretty piece for sure. Let's see. Man, there is no way we're gonna get through there's no way we're going to get through all of this today. It's, it's just going to be so time consuming because everything is a collectible piece. Oh, there's an, another Avon. There's so much Avon. Another Avon piece there. There's a couple Avon pieces. What's this? Well, look at this here. I can't see any identifying marks. It doesn't mean that there isn't. Lord knows this isn't my expertise. I think you guys know as well. There we go. Candy dish, bowl. I don't know. This thing is, this feels big and round. Wow, look at, look at the pattern on that. This is China. Made in China. I have to get George to read that. She's the linguistics expert. That woman knows every language. Her, her brain is just wired for languages. Look at that piece. Wow. Let's see what this is. This is probably the top. I bet this is the top of that. Nope. That's the top. To, is that amber? Is that green? I'm colorblind. Remember that I'm colorblind, so I don't see things the way that you see things. That's the top to this. There's some chandelier pieces in there. So would this be depression glass? Okay, we'll set that over. 
couple more pieces. This has like a pink, this is like pink red. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up or not with the background, but in my eyes, this is like a pinkish red or a deeper peach. Which I think a lot of you guys have taught me that's depression in those colors. Oh, there's the lid to the china piece right there. Wow, cool box. This box is not labeled, but it is cut, so it's not sealed. Look what we have here. We've got a crock. Would this be a mini crock? I mean, it's still got food stains on it, so it was absolutely being used. Sticky. Sticky and gooey. Get some of this out of here. God bless our home. Wow, look at this. Look at that. What does that say? Does that say Atlas 1? Old Grader? Or All in 1, not Atlas, All in 1. So this is an All in 1 Antique Grader. These are the old porcelain, old porcelain plates. Right? We got the porcelain coating on them. Now they got a hole right here too. Maybe they were hung up or maybe that was specifically designed that way. We got Cracker Jack. Nothing in it. Okay. Definitely have more, more glassware. That's a clock missing. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. We got more antique little ball jars. one has got a three on it. I bet you this is what they all are. Yes. There you go. Perfect mason ball. That's number seven. Wow. Look at the color on that one. That's a number seven. Here, this one feels slimmer. That's because it is. This is a Wheaton. It's got a maybe a 13. I'm not sure what. Yeah, 13 on the bottom. For shaking something out. Don't know what. And then we got another mason jar. This has just got like two nipples on the bottom. I have the trunk out. The only problem is I don't have a key to get into it. So if we look here, Excelsior, Excelsior, but some of the cool stuff on it is it traveled through the American Railroad. And so you've got the express company, the actual tickets right there. And I think we have one on the other side too. I don't want to damage it because of the railroad history. But somehow I got to figure out how to actually get in this thing without doing damage because I would love to preserve the railroad history. Let's see what I can do. Safety first! You guys taught me that. The desire to get in here is just killing me. There's no way I'm going to be able to preserve the actual lock. So here we go. Here we go. We're gonna find out what's hidden in here. Hopefully, a treasure chest filled with goodies. Three, two, one. In three, two, one. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. Almost. Come on. Come on. We'll bring in the big gun. See what we can do here. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> now, to see what's inside. Oh, come on. Come on. Here we go. Oh, you're killing me. 
You're killing me. You seal it up. We just break in and it's sealed up. All right, here we go. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> you ready? Because I'm not sure I am. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I can tell you this. It's heavy. All right. These are on hinges. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, we found a gun. We found a gun. Keychain gun. You see? Don't worry. I know it's a Smith & Wesson. It's pointed right at me. We're going to be okay. It's a little keychain. The gun room. Okay. Let's take a peek here. Show you what we're looking at. Okay. And let's see what we got. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's bring the camera over. All right, <laughs> this is so exciting. All right, we got a Bible. Look at this. This is a metal, a metal cover. I've never seen one like that before. And it's actually inscribed on the back. 1957. Wow. Wow, that is incredible. Let's see what else we have. This, I don't know what that is. Look, oh, 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 oh. we got a purse. We got a person. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. There's a plastic barrier in here. I can't get to it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe this. Okay. Here. Here we go. Look at this. Okay. We got Buffalo Head right there. Look at that. We got Liberty Dime. Oh, man, I, I got to figure out how to show this all to you with it all focused. Okay, let's see. We've got a dime there. 1963. All right. Some of you are going to go nuts when I throw this. 1910 Liberty Head. We got a buffalo nickel. We got another buffalo nickel. We got a 1896 Liberty Head. 1896. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Buffalo Head. Here's a 1910. It's a 1910 Liberty. See what else. Here's a 1907. 1907 Liberty. Come on, zoom in on that. There we go. Look at this. Okay. 1951. Nothing special there. Let's see. What do we have here? Here's a Liberty Dime. Here's a 1944. Now, is that 44? That is, that's 44. Okay, what's this? This is 1941. Buffalo nickel. Let's see what else we have here. 1947. We got foreign coin. 1941 dime. There's just a little bit of everything in here. This, there's a 1943 steel, 1940 copper, wheat on the back. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. There's just so much in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look through it, see if I can find a 1943 penny that's copper. If I do, you'll probably never hear from me in George again. We'll be retired, we'll disappear. But if I don't, then you'll see what's next. Didn't find a 1943 copper, so we're still in business, I guess. <laughs> All right, those are family pictures, and my guess is these are gonna be as well. It does say photos. Yeah, this is a lot of personal stuff. So I'm gonna set that aside. Oh, wow, look at this. Would these be baby shoes? Old baby shoes? Oh, look at that. 
Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's an old locket. Okay, how's it open? It opens like this. Corday. Okay, Corday. I don't see any other markings. Wow. Okay, we'll set that aside. We've got old Hot Wheels. We've got pocket knife. Probably a million pocket knives in this unit. We got first class male photo, don't bend. And we're just going to set that aside. That's a family photo. Okay, collectible pens. We've got an old stamp. $2.90 stamp. Let's move on over. Oh, here's Boy Scout emblem right there. Maybe we have more Boy Scout stuff down below. We're just going to pick the camera up. We're going to slide on over and see what we have here. Oh, box 241, 1969, made in Wadsworth, Ohio, by B. Scott. I have no idea what it is. None whatsoever. Huh. All right. Raggedy Ann. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Wow, yeah, look at this, look at this, hiding under here, oh my goodness, oh all you coin collectors are freaking out because they're clanging, look at this, okay, all right, that's Canadian, all right, there's a one dollar, Susan B. Anthony, hey, a buck's a buck, 1922 Liberty, oh wow, Oh, wow. And there's more than one. Come on, come on, come on. No, that one's not as old. Oh, wow. 1967. I'm not sure what that is. Venezuela. Venezuela? I can't even speak right now. I'm too excited. Here's a national defense like probably decoration for a soldier and these coins probably came from somebody who served wow this is matching the the paper money that we found look at this there's an s stamped inside the buffalo i don't know what that means wow okay i'm gonna set those aside right there oh man what else are we gonna find in here? Oh, okay, all right. Oh, you know what? I bet the coins were in here and they tipped out. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put them right in here and we're gonna set them aside. Oh, please be paper money, collectible money. Please, please, please. Okay, we do have, look, we've got, we've got more military honor there and all right, that's going to be set aside. What do we have here? Okay, we got a collectible pocket knife. Got an old fan. I wonder how much of this is from traveling. We got a veteran's privilege card. So obviously someone was a veteran. Oh, can you imagine what we're going to find in here? <laughs> Oh my goodness, can you imagine? This unit, we're, we have to go slow. This may take two or three days, if not even more. There's a couple rifles, a couple pins, the rifles. How cool is that? Okay, and some stamps. We'll set that aside. Look at this. This is going to be a little sword, a little knife, but it's missing the actual handle. I wonder what that one's to. Any of you war historians look familiar? Wow. Okay. All right. We need to calm down a little bit. Knife we're going to put over there. We've got an antique 
baby plastic definitely oh you it's got powder in it see the holes in the head it's got baby powder oh my goodness this this thing has baby powder in it oh wow okay here's an old creepy doll with the eyeballs old creepy let's check for any identification not seeing anything all right it looks like old baby toy that would roll around and probably squeak yep elephant made in taiwan i'm sure this is toys from when she was a child another old baby taped on clothing oh my goodness this has got to be what the first dial soap ever made right there and 1979 not sure who it is 1979 toy I'm gonna set that aside over there plastic baby plastic baby head of a baby another creepy baby with the eyes no markings okay we've got some jewelry I'm gonna set that over there with the coins here's a bank we've got an owl bank the rubber is still there it's got baby powder on it oh wow look at that antique mirror Wow, what a find, what a find. Hopperland, wow. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, yes, it's in there. Whatever it is, it's in there. Okay, it's pink, red, and let's see if we have the markings. Dominique, Let's see if there's anything underneath. All right, I have no idea what kind of what kind of ring it is, but it's there. Oh, we got an old cowbell, old doorknob. Those are collectible now. Oh, please, please, please. <laughs> I was thinking it was actually, I was thinking it was more money. So, oh, I just lost an old penny. Okay, let's see what we have in here. We have old collectible knives. Look at that. Wow. Oh my goodness. What a treasure. What a treasure. We're gonna put that baby over there. We're gonna put the bullets over here. And there's the keychain we already saw. Okay, something Avon here. Let's see what this is. Let me figure out how to open it. It is a little pin. Some other things. And then we've got a another piece of soap. Still in the packaging. And there's a key. I hope that's not the key to get in here all right let's see. Whoop. oh let me cover her up and we've got some kind of something let's slide this over here oh let's see what we got i see a bank right off right off the bat i see a bank okay just for editing purposes i'm going to turn this off and start a new video start another clip because it takes forever to edit these huge clips Let's dig in. We've got, I don't know, is that Care Bear? It doesn't look like it. Animal toy, we'll set that aside. We got a bank, and there's money in it. See the bank there? Let's open her up. It's the old, old plaster. Now the challenge with opening these up, oh wow. Looks like we've got jewelry down here too. Wow, 
Wow, wow, wow. Okay, the challenge with opening these up is this old rubber can actually break. Okay, I'm just gonna set it aside so we can get through this. That looks like something from Rainbow Bright. There's an old, old turn toy. That is from the first years, 19, I don't see it. Wow, talk about old stuff. Okay, let's just peek at one. There's stuff in here. Celebration 1979, there you go. There's what we got inside. Okay, let's open another one. Oh, man, alive. Man alive. What a treasure chest. Oh, wow. Jesus is the reason for the season. Right there. Look at this. How much of this do you think is gold? How much do you think is silver? I just don't have time to go through it all right now. Okay. It's going to get dark in less than an hour, and I can't be stuck out here. Tiffany and company. Let's see what we have in here. Here is another coin. Wait, this is... Good luck from Jesse James Hideout. Okay. Family photos. I'm sure gold and silver in there too. Especially when we're seeing Tiffany's. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, my back is killing me. Okay, if we look back here, this one's clear. Look at that, Popo's coming. More jewelry. More jewelry. Yeah, that's how hot this stuff is. We're sending everybody to put the fire out. That's how hot it is. Wow. Talk about about a hit my goodness okay let's look at another one it's a thimble some more coins let's see if we can show you okay 1942 Australia wow <laughs> okay obviously serviceman or woman okay we got we got more down here. We got stamps. Look at that. Oh, man. So we got a watch. Pins. Oh, boy, we could do, we could do an entire video just on this, just this trunk. All right, let's see if we can get this little thing open. Which, here we go, it looks like antique beads. Let's flip it. I didn't know how to open it. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, jeez. There go the antique beads. Captain Fumble Nuts strikes again. Okay. No doubt tons in there. Let's see what else we got. We got Avon Beauty. We got... I drop stuff everywhere. There's another bullet. Antique. Sure shot. Camera. How cool is that? Oh, what's this? This is a purse. This is a purse, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I wish George was here. Oh, I wish George was here. Okay, more bullets. It looks like we've got antique marbles, glass marbles, and it looks like I mean, everything in this unit is collectible. So probably collecting pens as well. Oh, wow. What a find. Look at this. More money, more jewelry. You can 
focus in on that. What a find. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else we got. I see another purse. Here's another purse. And we've got... Looks like Oriental. No, not Oriental. There's another purse. These like little Holland dolls. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes on these. I'm so excited and not even in camera view. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. See it? The eyes go back and forth on these. I've got a marking 14M. And there's a silver spoon down here, too. Silver collectible spoon, 1886 through 1996. Okay. All right. I gotta, I gotta get in the view. All right, I'm gonna start another clip just for editing purposes because it's a whole lot easier and faster to edit small clips than it is huge clips. Let's see what we have over here on this side. Looks like we have Lady Remington. Look at that. That's gotta be an original, huh? Another antique baby toy. Wow. Look at this. Old paper dolls. That's that's before Barbies. You know your toy history is paper dolls, and then finally the Barbie came out. Okay. Look at this. Beautiful Stories About Children by Charles Dickens. This here, the thing I've sold that goes for more money than anything else on eBay, children's books. Wow. Wow. Okay, it's just a lot of this has to be gone through with a fine tooth comb. Another baby, and that's very difficult to do while on camera. Okay, oh my goodness. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? She-Ra, isn't that She-Ra? I'm almost positive that's She-Ra. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, how lucky did we get. Okay. Let's see. Look at this, we have some bronze baby shoes. 1952. Wow. We got some Beanie Babies. We got... B&W service. If you can even see that. Let's make sure you can. Kind of wooden wedge. That's just what it is. It's a wooden wedge. Look at that. Old pair of Mickey Mouse slippers. That's from the Mickey Mouse Club. I wonder how much that's worth. Wow. More dolls. There's just... There's a gold mine everywhere. Hymns of Praise. Seven lessons in a rifle shooting course. Let's see what we have down here. Ten years of service. Skeleton key. Tie tack down there. Let's see what the tie tack says. Look at that. We got more women's powder. Oh, no, we got matches. And matchbooks are collectible as well. They collected everything. 
I mean, literally, absolutely everything. And they threw nothing away. Look at that. Another powder with all kinds of things in there. Old lighter, salt and pepper shaker. Old family Bible. My goodness. Another family Bible. More tie tacks. Wow. All right, one more thing. Big and little six sisters. Dolls and pets. How many of you had this growing up before your Barbies? If you're anything like me right now, you're still shaking a little bit from everything we just found. I don't even know how to put a value on everything that's in this trunk. We paid $500 for the unit. The trunk alone, the trunk alone could have been the unboxing for this episode and we still have the full trailer. I mean, this just one trunk, can you believe it? So here's the deal, we're coming back out tomorrow. I'll be back out here all week. There's not much going on during Christmas week anyway with auctions. So I'll be back out. We're gonna do more unboxing. We're gonna find out exactly what else is out here. I gotta get this all inside. I gotta get it taken care of before the sun goes down, which is in about 30 minutes. And then, oh my goodness, make sure you subscribe because you're gonna to wanna to see what else comes out of this unit. I don't know how we keep hitting gold mine after gold mine after gold mine, but we do. Here in Ohio, who would have ever thought it? Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, adventure awaits. Go find it before I do. I mean, this was a really good one to find. You should have found it too. You could. You could do it anywhere. Anyone can. Let's do it. That one's stamped with a letter S. S. Somebody stamped S in it. I've seen Freemason stamped coins before. We've got all silver here. Look at that. That's my favorite. The 1922 dollar right there the oldest one was 1896 got a ton of silver and foreign come on you gotta come to work with me tomorrow are you gonna call off for me i'll call off for you what are you gonna tell my boss lady you can i'm gonna tell her you got a new boss in town <laughs> new boss is here <laughs> Yeah, more money. Press the pound sign to repeat this message. That was twenty five, right? That's a full tank. All right, let's check the next one. The code you entered is six six seven eight. Press one if this is correct. Otherwise, press two. Your available balance is twenty five. Yeah. Count another fifty. Repeat this message. Press one. Woo! Today's my lucky day. Press two if you wish to speak to a credit Maybe. customer. July 26, 2018. That was your lucky, lucky day. day. Yeah, yeah.